Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Arena Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded though, because we're going to be checking out the QM Tato mod here once again. Adds a bunch of characters to the game. They've been unhinged, but also very fun. So we're going to be checking out the Turret Master here today, who cannot use weapons, but can grab turrets. You start with a wrench. You start with improved tools. Engineering modifications up. HP regen is up. So... Let us grab another wrench to get another turret, and then we shall grab. When you say grab, you mean they're <laughs> you mean they're just guns now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Interesting. In oh, okay. Interesting. I uh, I guess I'll grab some harvesting there we want as many screwdrivers as we can get cute monkey will probably be good so wait so we <laughs> okay so does range apply to them Do does range apply to them snake is maybe logical because we might get the burn <sighs> turret i don't i don't know man but we are, we are just a walking ball of turrets. I am the turret. Just straight up. But but yeah, I'm really... Conf I'm not... I'm holding them. Do they gain the properties of a gun? Like, was this a custom-made quote-unquote gun? That is... Like, I don't know. Can I apply crit? Can I apply... I don't know. Is it just a gun that has a 100% engineering scaling? Maybe. Or a 80% engineering scaling? Maybe. Like, I don't know if crit does anything. I think let's operate under the assumption that it doesn't. And we'll work from there. We do have um, improved tools. So we can increase our attack speed. Screwdriver seems... Odd. To say the least. Oh... <gasps> seems odd to say the least okay so where's the okay so i do have all the turrets that are just kind of just standing on top of each other there we get the engineering bonus good we do get the engineering bonus from the wrenches and i guess the reason we get the hp regen buff yeah I, i'm leaning towards the fact that they are not like a custom made weapon that's gonna get gun properties right now because that's probably why we got the hp regen buff because theoretically life steel doesn't work. It could. Ooh. But I, yeah, I think we just operate under the assumption that all that stuff this doesn't apply yet. The wrench sounds good. Got to get the blue one next time though. But yeah, we're not doing tons of damage. The thing is the fact that we can focus turret damage on a single target is pretty spicy. The, the weirdest thing of the whole day is genuinely going to be trying to figure out what items apply and why the items don't apply. Like, I know that turrets can apply on-hit effects. So, like, a, a sacred sausage could work. I saw it was there, but I just don't think I, I just didn't really want it. Sure. I guess we'll grab this. Hope for a common. All right. Ooh, another turret. Scar theoretically is free. So some of our turrets are going to be flamethrowers now, which I don't really want. But we're going <laughs> to we're just going to be a big dumb walking ball at the end of this. I mean, the burn turrets were made a bit better, but what I want is to be wielding explosive turrets. Or, like, the um, the piercing turret would be good. Oh my god, we got frame drops. It must be good. You know a run's gonna be good if you're on wave 5 and you're getting frame drops. Okay. Get some attack speed. Luck up could be good, too. 
Life Seal probably does nothing. Okay, so now we got a piercing one. So, yeah, wrench upgrades are... I kind of treat them different than other upgrades. I try and skip past blue, basically, if I can. Like, I, I don't really ever want to have more than one blue if I can help it. There will probably be some times where I accidentally... Or not accidentally, but, like, just luck-wise, it just ends up that way in the shop that I can't find the other thing that I want. Okay. Okay. My, my first impression is that this is going to be too strong, but I felt that about some of the other characters in this mod and have been proven wrong. Yeah, again, like, not having lifesteal is, is very much going to be something. Meta- <gasps> No way. Dragging, dragging components kind of hilarious today. You can grab turrets. If we can grab the healing turret. I mean, garden's good. I just... I can't imagine... I can't imagine tentacle. You're kidding. Wait, wait. We actually, we get to hold the medical turret. Okay, give me HP or uh, give me armor. That's our method of healing, baby. Okay, we are, I'm closing some stuff in the background. Holy crap. All right, I had Premiere open, which it, I can play anything but Brotato with premiere open in the background. I don't know what it is about this game that I can't have... I have to close out of all my tabs and stuff while playing Brotato. The game that looks like this. But everything else, it doesn't matter. Okay, this that was pretty promising. Like, the thing is, turret runs normally don't do great against, like, a single target situation. This is no regular turret run, that is for sure. If we can hold the garden, that is going to be hilarious. Ugly Tooth does work. For what it's worth. Okay. At least it do It should work is probably the better way of saying it. Just piercing on that. 125. That's what I thought. 125 percentage with piercing is quite spicy. Man, if I get just like a couple medical turrets... This is so dumb. Like, if we get three and then we get some armor, it's just like, it's the same as just absurd HP regen. I would almost say you should make this character start with a healing turret, but they cannot gain whatever HP regen or lifesteal or whatever. Like, I think that that's almost... It's almost should be baked into the character. Like, take the RNG out of whether or not you get one of them, and then make it so you cannot get HP regen or life steal, and that becomes the uh, the gimmick. I just really like that idea. Black belt could be fine. I just don't really feel like it. Knock back up. I can't remember if it applies. Nice. Metal's good. Again, we probably can't crit, so. All right. This is a, a way where we actually would have maybe enjoyed the uh, the burn, but we do have it full piercing. Basically, I have a gun that has 100% piercing and 100%, 125% damage scaling. If you look at it that way, it's pretty gross. Whoop. It's also, I'm noticing right now how much quieter the turrets are than guns. Which in a normal run feels right. But in this run, when the turrets are our guns, it feels kind of funny. I, I, it just It's a thing that I would have only noticed on this run here. 
Okay. I really would love to get in. Get in there and fight. Pre-reroll. Love that on an engineering E run. I'll get some luck. Get some armor. Another turret. Good. Pick up range. Baby elephants. Pick up range is not bad. I just don't feel like it. Community support. Yes. It should apply. Bait. I don't think it does anything. It, it's it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell with this. If these are just turrets, bait does nothing for us ever. Like, percentage damage is a useless stat. If these are transformed into guns, I would love all the percentage damage. But hey, what are you going to do? All you can do is whoop, try... We got some, some more armor now. We still have the HP, uh, the regen turret. We have zero HP regen, despite the fact that we get better scaling on it. It's a personal problem. Community support should play nice with... Um, oh, boy. With our turret scale off of your attack speed item. It should play well with it. Oh, boy. But who knows? It seems like it is. Like, things seem like they're attacking a lot faster. Oh my god. Oh my god. At this point... Yeah, I was gonna say, give me some HP to regen with that. Explosion size? I, I'm i hopeful. Okay, that's a lot of piercing turrets. We do pick- I just realized that we do pick up the garden. That's so funny. So it's not just turrets. It's gonna be all structures. Wait, would we pick up the freaking tree, too? The, uh... The, whatever, the spawn trees from the mod? I guess it, we probably would. Do I want it? Not really. It's really expensive, and it's made me sad in the past with how poor value we got on a run where it was kind of designed around it. Oh boy. You can tell we're definitely not um, a Horde Wave character right now. Maybe later. Let's get all the healing that's in the middle and we can take a couple hits as a result. But yeah, like with a lack of knockback completely here. Okay, we can get in there. We can get in. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of healing. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Ah, still missed a lot, but, but hey, whatever. Oh my god, a free plum tree? Oh, the penalty on this one is damage down. I'll take it. Health, sure. Grab that. I'm gonna go ahead and get a legendary turret instead there. Ten percent attack speed for 135. Everything else of of in that is irrelevant. This could make it so I could take elemental, but I don't really care. Speed engineering minus crit chance shouldn't matter. So now we got a couple explosive turrets, which should be super good. Yeah, we got the. We did indeed. We're holding the tree. All right. Yep. Got the explosive turrets. I'm going to very temporarily turn on explosions. Just kind of see what we're looking like. Damage down. Very first thing we got, damage down. Again. For my sanity, I have to operate under the assumption that that is an irrelevant stat for us. Because it's the most logical presumption based off of the phrasing of everything that it said. And the fact that now that we got all of the uh, structures just... All of the structures, surely they would not have designed every structure into a custom weapon. So it must literally just be that it's the same structure just pinned to my body. Which is really reassuring that anything that would be true normally for a structure is true now. Good. Uh, sure, we do like HP regen. So 
just gonna say I hope we find another. Uh, I mean, I kind of want all of it. Be frank. Maybe not gentle alien right now. We got the three legendary turrets, which are fantastic. I mean, it's like a probably more effective rocket launcher. Does it shoot faster than a rocket launcher? HP up. Yeah, the tree, I think, you know, getting it as a quasi-free item without a uh, recycling machine, so it just costs, like, whatever, 69 nice or whatever, is not bad. That's... It feels like it's worth it for that price. Otherwise, I think it's going to be a tough sell for me, dog. Okay. Hoping we didn't roll past any dynamites. Always a weird item to remember you need. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this run maybe got its uh, training wheels taken off, and it's just kind of like an easy, breezy, beautiful run now. Ooh. I don't know why I prioritized that order. Sad tomato. I don't know. We, we can handle it, right? Like, we're... We have the healing turret, which is trying to heal us very, very often. We have good HP regen. We're under half. We get it doubled. We are in a great spot. We basically need to stop our, ourselves from getting, like, one shot, basically. If we can put ourselves in a spot where enemies need minimum, at best, like, the strongest enemy still takes three hits to kill us, then we're golden. That's kind of the kind of the place where I'm at right now. With the amount of healing we have and everything, we want and we heal or twice as fast under half. Yeah, I'd say the third is not bad. Obviously, like if we could die in four, that's even better. If we could die in five, that's that's a dream. Could just never die at all. That's the dreamiest. Okay. Does landmines do anything? Hoping for another common. Eh. Oh, well. I guess we'll grab some burn turrets. I don't know if we... I don't know if Silver Bullet does anything with these in hindsight. I, I just realized a major flaw of this character slash run right now is that I cannot tell where my hitbox is for the life of me. Like, I can when I have time to, like, stop and look, but in the middle of, you know, brotato paced movement and combat, it's pretty tough to tell exactly <laughs> when you've got this going on. Okay. Still waiting on one more healing turret. It'd be a dream. But, man, I'm happy we went with uh, the, the harvesting and stuff. Hopefully we should be able to get our, uh, our turrets filled up. Fine. Ooh, anvil. Anvil. Yes. I'm going to assume that that's an irrelevant thing. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to... I have faith. I have faith that we're going to find some more. <sighs> um. Great. Great. Well, we screwed over our anvil value a little bit then. I love how the uh, the landmines just kind of actually sit there and follow us around. That is so stupid, and I love it. Man, there's like... This is almost the... <laughs> the landmines? It's kind of feeling like a Katamari situation. no, 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 no,
Oh well. Suboptimal anvil, RIP. There's worse things that could happen than a suboptimal anvil. We're still gonna hit um, full legendaries just as fast this way. In fact, slightly faster. It's just gonna be slightly more expensive, but I don't know if I care about that. I don't know if I care about it being slightly more expensive right now. Eh. I mean, we have a lot of explosive turrets now. I don't know. The late game scaling on it is kind of goofy. Not being able to grab percentage damage means that you have less sources of scaling. I'm not going to sit here and say that this I'm worried about this run. That's just not true, but it's a, it's a much more linear growth than a normal run where you have normal stats for normal people. It, it's more like when we cap out our turrets... It's going to be hard to increase our power spike again. We basically need to get lucky and find another turret. Another structure in the shop. Which, we haven't been finding that many. Is my speed? Sure. Absolutely not. Well, basically that's just for the armor, isn't it, I guess? Met in hindsight. Wait... Oh, God, wrench. More explosion size, sure. I don't know why I got that. I guess for the dodge. Oh, can you not aim this? I was under the impression the whole time that we had the ability to aim if I wanted to. I thought I could earlier. Doesn't really matter. We just get close enough that it's the thing we'll aim at. Heal me up, turret. Stand by all the materials. We got uh, a sad monkey, or maybe, maybe two. Beautiful. We will have our full legendaries next wave. Thank you to Anvil. Again, it's the most cost effective. Nah. nah, nah, nah. Fine enough. We got Anvil for free, so if we're really worried about cost-effective stuff when we didn't even have to pay for that item... Whatever. Uh, two max HP for every permanent armor you have. Half of your armor gets converted. You know what? Yes. I'm just gonna trust that it was worth it. You have a hundred health now. Armor goes down by a lot there, but... We'll get the dodge, community supports... Less valuable now. I mean, metal detector's not bad, but also, like, it's mostly an econ play. I don't even know if Silver Bullet works. I'm going to assume... My assumption is no, but I, I just don't know. We can maybe find out in the boss. Because, like, I don't know if it's whenever damage is calculated on a thing, regardless of the source, it gets 25% boost. Or if it is a 25% boost to your gun when it strikes a boss. I, I just don't know the logistics on that item. And it's something that doesn't matter that much for base rotato. Like, I guess it applies on an engineering run. Uh, in any engineering run. So I, I suppose it should probably be clarified in some way. Or at least be public knowledge. Common knowledge. I'll look into it at some point, maybe. But we could also just maybe do the research today. Like, if the bullet hits... Oh, absolutely. Sure. Theoretically, our range doesn't matter.
Okay. So we'll see how much damage we do to a normal. Okay, it totally it totally works. Look at that. We're doing 193 to him and 129 to the uh, to the littles. To the Stuart littles. Little high, little ho. Son of a gun. Um Wow. Confirmed. It's all sources of damage then, probably. If it applies on engineering on on structures, that's usually one of the last things that items apply to. Turret Lord item. Turrets gain 25% crit chance? Max two turrets will gain one of the listed bonuses. 65% chance to explode on hit. Pierces up to three times on crit. Bounces up to two times on crit. Hitting an enemy spawns five projectiles dealing one. <laughs> oh my god. Weird. Weird cool. I, I loved that. I don't know. It, it's, it's strange because it's basically, let's take an engineering build and turn it into a, like a normal build. <laughs> like a, just a, a different build. Like a gun build. And you would think that that... I would think that that'd be kind of strange and maybe like... Like, well, eh, it's just a regular run. But for some reason, it does feel different. You do have a different set of priorities. You also have a different pool of items that you have allowed in the shop in order to increase your damage. So it's like a gun run where you get to multi-class into engineering items is sort of what it feels like. It's kind of cool. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Alas, alas, though, that is that, and that is going to do it here for today for Brotato. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.